Hi friends, uh, today we are going to see how Panasonic Remote 2 application going to work. Okay, so to do that, first you need to go and install the application from Play Store. Go to Play Store and type Panasonic Panasonic Remote TV. So you will get the application with this so i have already installed the application so and so it is showing open option to me people install it and open it okay so this is the application this is how it looks and you open the stab we have multiple options here you can see it in pad control remote and keyboards To type anything what you want the TV and swipe and share this is the one useful application useful option in this application you can share the music with the TV in the instead of swiping to TV like this okay and then we have web browser so we can browse whatever you want through this and you can just hold on this and push to TV so it will automatically display in your TV so an amp launcher so there are default applications and this once you connect to the network so it will show all the informations so on normal uh, settings will be there software information support something like that they also are not required I'll just show you here how this application work so what you need to do there you can see the symbol here that is the symbol where we can see that the TV the Panasonic smart TV is connected or not to connect the smart TV so what you have to know do is so in your TV you need to go and enable the option Wi-Fi direct okay then your TV acts like a uh, Wi-Fi device so then go to your in mobile and connect connect to Wi-Fi so if you go to Wi-Fi automatically if your TV is enabled with the Wi-Fi direct you can see the TV name it's available here so it's connected because already I have configured so once it is connected so once it is connected you can see here is connected to Wi-Fi that is the name I have given direct 53 Vira and go to application now you can see that earlier it was showing into Mar because it was not connected now you can see that it is connected so you can start using if you apply whatever you want so if you using a remote control in using this you can change the channels volumes you can see I just increasing volume you can hear music AV mute everything and keyboard you want to search something you want to type something just type and you just show it and why swipe and share so you want to uh, whatever the device in mobile you having the songs or something you want to share that information so just hold it for one second then swipe it to TV so once you do that it will start the music will start coming from the TV you can just hear this is what the song is currently playing so once it done is done and like that you can share movies, the videos, whatever you have. So in the same way, uh, the web browser, web browser. So you go and search whatever you want, and. In the Google, if you want to see that same content in your TV, 
just hold it and send to TV. So currently is not, my data is off because of that it's not in loading. So once you have a private Wi-Fi in your home, the TV should be connected to your Wi-Fi and your phone should be connected to your Wi-Fi. Then this option will work. Otherwise, through Wi-Fi Direct, the option will never work. So these are the things. So if you have any doubt or any questions, please do comment, subscribe our channel and do like. Thank you very much. Hope you like this video.